Hey friends and welcome back to the vlog. Um, today Josh and the girls and Jackson and I we're gonna head out and we're gonna get to a pumpkin patch. It is already October the 20th and we I feel like we haven't did anything fallish so far because the kids have had cold, passed around colds and coughs. Actually I ended up getting the cold over the weekend. It was kind of down. Yesterday was such a beautiful day too. Like it would have been such a perfect day to get out and go to a corn maze or do something fun but I was just down yesterday. So anyway, we're going to take the kids to this little pumpkin patch. There's no rides, no corn maze. It's actually like at an elementary school. They have like this um, pumpkin patch beside it with lots of pumpkins you can pick from. And they actually do this thing called the honor system where you go pick your pumpkin out if nobody's there and you just leave your money in their little drop box or whatever, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, we usually get our pumpkin from there. And then another time we'll go to like a corn maze and like they have like different things for the kids to do. It's a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun. So today is pumpkin patch day and then probably this weekend we'll go do something more fall like with the corn maze and things that the kids will really enjoy. We're talking about either doing that or riding, um, go ride through the mountains or something look at leaves and get out at a few places. So we'll find something fun to do this weekend hopefully because everybody's finally getting past these colds that everybody's been having around here. Just brushing my hair again. Y'all have heard me talk about this hairbrush before. Yeah, this is a different color. I have them in, I think I have them in all colors, white, black, this pink, and then gold. They have like such pretty colors. Um, our favorite hand hairbrushes, hands down, you can ask my girls, this is the hairbrush they ask for when I go to brush Bethany's hair. She's like, mama, I don't even want you to brush my hair unless we have this one. It's called Tangles Be Gone. The best hairbrush ever for any girl out there, I believe, it literally brushes your hair without pulling it. And I have kids that have like some thick hair and it can get really tangly and I can just so easily brush their tangles out without hurting them at all. And I would not say something or promote something that I haven't tried and really trust myself that really works. Um, and I was kind of skeptical, honestly, when I got this hairbrush, somebody shared it and I was like, you know what? I have a coupon code. I'm going to order it. $13. I'm going to try it out. We own like six or seven of these things right now. I actually bought my daughter's best friend one because she came over and fell in love with it. So I just bought her one. I bought her one in pink. Um, so I actually do have a coupon code for y'all. It is Shasta20. It'll get you 20% off of this hairbrush. I also have the website linked down below. Just go to the, click on the website. Use my coupon code Shasta20. It'll get you 20% off. These hairbrushes I think are like 16 to 17 dollars but with my coupon you get it for like 13 dollars which is very inexpensive for hairbrush because you can easily spend 10 to 15 one um 10 to 15 dollars on one at walmart and it still not work like this one works this one works amazing if you have a lot of y'all have already ordered one of these um so if you've ordered one of these and you own a tangles be gone hairbrush leave a comment down below just so everybody else can see what you think about it leave you a review in the comments and let everybody else see um, but anyway, that's my little spiel on this hairbrush. I wanted to share that with y'all, especially y'all. I don't know if y'all were thinking about this yet or not, but Christmas is coming. Um, I have not bought any Christmas gifts yet, but I have been going through my mind of what I would like to get certain people, stocking stuffers, things like this. This would make a great Christmas gift for a girl in your life, a woman in your life, or even a great like stocking stuffer. Um, I get a little stocking stuffer for somebody and they will be very pleased with this hairbrush. Trust me. Anyway, we're gonna head out to the pumpkin patch now. Oh, and we're getting ice cream tonight. I didn't mention that. We're getting ice cream and going to the pumpkin patch. It's a toneless, Mama. You ready to go to the pumpkin patch? Yeah. Mama, it's a toneless. It's a coldness. The coldness? It's not cold yet. Jackson's first pumpkin patch. Is your first pumpkin patch? <laughs> pick it up! Huh? I can't pick it's, it up. Why not? Is Get it too big for you? <laughs> Lots of little pumpkins. Lots of little pumpkins. Look at this one. Tiny. Lots of little ones. Holly found. Let's see what you found, Holly. Oh, I don't want it, but. Uh, what is it? Starfish pumpkin? <laughs> you gonna pick yeah. a pumpkin, Millie? That looks like a good one for you. Oh, 
Uh oh, I fell apart. Holly picked the white pumpkin. I like the white, it's really pretty. Me too. That's a pretty little pumpkin. <laughs> you want to go put it back? I think they found the perfect pumpkin over here. Did y'all find the perfect pumpkin? Yeah, that one. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. It's got a bad spot on the back. Yeah, we'll turn it around. Yeah, we we'll can turn it around. So y'all want this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, Bailey. That was yours. Give Mama. Give Holly Jacks. So next morning I'm making breakfast. Um, Emily has an orthodontist appointment today at 12:30. So I'm gonna get breakfast fed everybody, get ready, get some subject started, take Emily to her orthodontist appointment, and then finish everything up like school-wise whenever we get back home. I don't think this is a long appointment today. It shouldn't take no longer than maybe 20 minutes. So Jackson's laying over there on the couch. Hey bud. Hey. You hear mama talking? <laughs> yeah. Millie was just in here. She went to go lay with Holly for a minute because Holly's not up yet. Hey, smiley boy. Hey, smiley. Orthodontist now. Mama. I've got Millie and Jackson, and Millie is walking around the van. Mama. We got somebody's shoe. There's always some shoes in our van, right? Mm -hmm. Always. If you need a pair of shoes, check my van. More than likely have somebody's shoes in here because kids either kick their shoes off in the car, change shoes in the car, do something. So, um, speaking of that, I really need to clean my van out. It is that time. There's another it's definitely one, do for Mama. that. Another one. Yep, she found the mate to it. So that's good, we found both shoes. Since Emily's in the orthodontist, I let Millie unbuckle and come sit up here with me and she's kind of going through stuff and finding shoes, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then after here, I actually call the pediatrician on the way here and they're gonna see me when we leave here to give Jackson a checkup. He has had a cold like we have for several days, but it's a little rougher on him because he's only about to be six months old, so he's real small. And I worry about that when they're little, having a cold and a cough. Um, so I just want them to listen to his little chest and check his ears, make sure everything's good there, make sure nothing is going on that I don't know about. Now she's unlocking the doors. Don't mess with that, okay? Ma, I'm rolling the window down. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to roll the window down. She's locking the doors. We're, we're going to leave the windows up. It's a little chilly outside, okay? Please. But um, they're going to check him out, um, and then after that, we'll go back home. We got a lot of school done before we left. I was so excited about how much we actually did get done before we left. Um, Holly's actually finishing up some of her stuff while I'm gone. And then Allie, is, I asked her to play a homeschool pop video. If y'all have never heard of homeschool pop, look that up on YouTube. If you need like a filler, like if you have an appointment to run to like I do or something, they have so many educational videos on there. So I told Allie, I said, you pick them an educational history video while I'm gone. Um, so they're going to watch that uh, in the meantime until I get back and we can finish up some stuff. All right, y'all. So we've been home for a little while now. It is 3.14. Josh is coming home. Um, and he asked me to fix a little bit of coffee. So I'm just doing some French press coffee for him using the chock full of nuts. This is his favorite. I like flavored coffee grounds. I mean, I do like this too. It's really good. But I like, um, I think the last one we had was butter, be butter, ugh, butter pecan. <laughs> and it was really good. So I've got my kettle going over here with the water about to boil um, for the French press. So I do four to five scoops. Josh said that was a little strong. So I'm going to do three tablespoons in here instead 
Now, I think it was strong just because of this coffee. Now, I like if it's a flavored coffee, it's a little weaker, and you can do more scoops. So, three tablespoons in there. All right, so it's done. I'm going to pour it in here. Mama, I found the dumb okay. You did? You found that? Where'd you find that at? Oh, cool. All right, y'all, so it is now dinner time. Um, I've had barbecue pork chops in the crock pot all day, but right now I'm getting ready to stick a green bean casserole in the oven. Um, this is way more green beans than it calls for, but we got some of those large cans from um, Sam's when we went, so I just used the, the big can. Instead of one can of cream and mushroom, I used two, and then I add a little bit more milk to it. So I think it's going to turn out just fine. I'm going to put some pepper and salt on it and put it in the oven. All right, so now we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes or until it's bubbly. And then take it back out, add some more of the little crispy fried onions to it, and bake it for five more minutes. I was going to show you all too, this is our favorite salt. It's almost gone, so I probably need to order some more. Um, the last time I got it, I actually got it in a really big bag, and it lasted us so long. I get it off of Amazon. It's Redmond's Real Salt. Um, we've been using this for, I would say, close to two years now. It's it's really good. A really good salt. Ancient, fine sea salt. Perfect for everyday use. We use it. Josh uses it on his eggs in the mornings. We use it on everything that calls for salt. We just replace the other salt that we usually used for this one. So I'll link it down below if y'all just want to check it out and see if you might be interested all right so now i got that in the oven i'm coming over here to my very used very well loved caraway pot <laughs> and i'm gonna make some rice in it i have this yellow rice that um, we got from sam as well i haven't even used it yet so i'm going to use it tonight because um these barbecue pork chops are kind of like falling apart in their crock pot because they've been cooking on low all day i think it'd be good over some rice so um, we can have rice for a side or pork chops over the rice. I guess it just depends on how the flavors mix together. Um, so we'll have rice, pork chops, and green bean casserole. And then we also have some French bread that I can cut up if anybody wants any bread. So it's two and one fourth cups of water, a tablespoon of butter. Bring that to a bowl. Add in your rice, which is just one cup of rice to feed six, because a lot of people in my family don't like rice. Um, but if you wanted to feed 12, then you would do two cups of rice. So I'm just doing the six serving with one cup of rice. Emily was holding, or Emily is holding Jackson while I'm making dinner and little sweetheart fell asleep. All right, so I'm waiting on that to bowl. I thought I would update y'all on the appointments really quick. So Emily's orthodontist appointment went good. Um, she actually got, um, my fridge is not shut, hang on. She got like a heavier wire put on. Um, so it's like a 30 minute appointment. We left there, went to Jackson's checkup. We got called back within like two or three minutes in the waiting room, which was awesome. So we'd have to sit there long. Um, they checked him out. Overall, he sounds pretty good. She said that she did hear like a little bit of bronchitis in there. Um, and his right ear looked a little bit like it was starting to get an ear infection. And that's what I worry about. Um, anytime my little kids get like a really bad cold or anything, they set up an ear infection with it. So I definitely wanted to get that checked out. I knew that through the night when he was waking up more, um, I wanted to get that checked out. So I'm glad that I went ahead and did that just in case tonight he was in a lot of pain and I was just wondering why. So they did give him a little antibiotic for that ear infection to take care of that. I think pretty sure all of my girls, as far as I know, have had an ear infection at some point in their life. And I'm not surprised. When I was little, y'all, I had chronic ear infections. I think I got an ear infection maybe once or twice a year. I'm really surprised. I know a lot of kids that get ear infections get tubes in their ears. None of my kids have tubes in their ears, but I'm surprised that I didn't. Just because I set up an ear infection so much when I was little, and even as an adult, I think I've had two two ear infections as an adult. Um, one of them was actually just last year whenever our family had the flu. Um, I had the flu and then I was not getting better. I was getting fur I was getting worse. I went to the doctor and of course I had set up an ear infection. So anyway, overall everything looked good though. We're just gonna give him lots of rest. He's still eating really good. He's still being his normal self. So nothing like too concerning. I just wanted to make sure I got that checked out. Um, with him just being so little. And if y'all remember when Millie was one, she had the croup. I have a video on here on that. Um, when she was one, she had the croup and was actually admitted to the hospital overnight, which was extremely scary. None of my kids have ever, Bethany was admitted to the hospital when she was a newborn, but it wasn't for um, like sickness and struggling to breathe. 
So that was kind of scary. I was, so I just want to keep a check on that anytime the kids get a cold now. Pot's boiling. I need to get the rice in here. The little kids are outside playing in this beautiful weather. It's absolutely gorgeous out there. And sometimes I think that's the best thing for you when you have a cold is just some good fresh air, some vitamin D to make you feel better. Right, Emily? <laughs> I think Jackson's making her sleepy over there. Some of the kids put their pumpkins on the porch last night, but we um, need to get the rest out here and decorate. Two of the girls are checking the mail. Huh? You want to go with them? You come with me. We're going to go check for eggs. Come on. So there are no eggs right now, but they're definitely molting. Our chickens are molting right now, and when they're like that, they don't lay hardly any. I think we got two eggs two or three days ago, so hopefully it'll pick up soon. Which a lot of our chickens, y'all, are getting old. Like they have some age on them, so Ooh, I don't know.